a little after 7.30 this morning, officers responded to a quiet community in the northeast side of town with reports of a domestic dispute. When cops arrived, it was a too late. The man had taken his life. Fox 55's Brandon Zalquist spoke to a mental health expert about why the time is now to have that talk with your loved ones. Mary Reed wishes she would have known her neighbor was thinking of taking his own life. We would have said, come on in, please let's talk, or let me come outside and sit down with you and talk. It was a second time this week a man shot himself in front of police, and now police and mental health experts are pleading with those who are feeling down to reach out for help. Jennifer Barnes of Mental Health America of Northeast Indiana says when it comes to mental health, it is time to erase the stigma. If somebody's thinking it's selfish, I would say, thankfully, you've never been to that low point. You've never been in that circumstance. And there's so many different ways to view things. Barnes says she also wants people to know that it's healthy to talk about mental health. If you're having mental issues, mental health issues, it's just the same as if you're having high blood pressure, uh, thyroid disorder, broken arm, any, any of those kind of normalized things that you can walk into a an urgent care and say, hey, I need help, or call the doctor and say, hey, you know, uh, I'm in pain. Barnes knows what it's like to lose someone to suicide and want people to know their support. We the Living is the support group here in Fort Wayne for those who've lost someone to suicide uh, that I run, and it's, it's absolutely a great resource to know. She says that even if you aren't open just yet, just by being there could be therapeutic. So sometimes it will just help to validate you as a person and validate your feelings just by attending and hearing other people. But it's also a great place to know that we're on this roller coaster of grief together. Barnes wants everyone to know that their feelings are valid. Understand that they are, they are valuable even if they need help, that it's okay. Because the three people I lost would still be here today if they hadn't been stubborn and gotten the help and support that they needed. In Fort Wayne, I'm Brianna Dahlquist, Fox 55 News. If you or someone you know are dealing with depression or thoughts of suicide, you're urged to text 494949 or log on to wethelivingfw.org.